the popular mantra from consumption to production being used by um, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, PDOB, uh, has now been broken down, even though it has been used by several other uh, political party candidates, even though they did not come out to explain to us, because nobody can know how to you know, explain it than the person who actually brought it up in the first place. Thank you very much for joining us. The Serious Matters on the TV. Thank you very much for keeping pace with us. Please do share our videos with others, like our videos, drop a comment, make them simple. And civil. Well, he breaks it down in this particular one. He said, this is our envisaged path from consumption to production for Nigeria. We have a three-track plan aimed at achieving the goal 12 of the SDG, namely ensuring sustainable consumption and production patterns. Now, for so many of you who have felt that we, you, you, Peter Obi has not given you enough reasons why you should vote for him. Well, I think this will go a very long way in convincing you rather than confusing you um, with uh, all the grandma that have been going, that are going around, you know, especially those, um, you know, by, on social media all over the place. Well, first, our focus will be on agriculture and production, centered growth for food security and export, with more emphasis on exporting finished products instead of commodities and raw materials. This relates mainly with food and textile. Nigeria has over 84 million hectares of arable land, and barely 40% of our arable land is cultivated today. Nigeria's arable land is hair, new oil, and gold. And so focus will be taken away from the real oil, then, you know, ex you know uh, we're going we're to be exploring other oil chores on other oil wells, such as agriculture. Second, Pursuant to goal nine of the SDGs, our administration will, from its inception, continue to encourage investment in infrastructure, energy, transport, irrigation, and telecoms in order to grow these and other um, sectors. He said, we are eager to quickly close the infrastructure gap between now and 2030. We will expand the frontiers of, an, of financial inclusion to ensure that SMEs have greater access to credits to grow. Now, we will work with financial institutions to improve their abilities to identify credit-worthy borrowers and support inventories financing, which will help to unlock finance for SMEs dealing with high accounts receivable. Now, we will, we will enforce the legal frameworks protecting foreign investors and their indigenous people or partners. This is the only way to tamper upon monopoly and capital uh, flights. Third, as a nation, Nigeria must look beyond oil, which he has been saying all the while. We therefore intend to leapfrog Nigeria from oil to the fourth industry revolve, I mean revolution by expanding physical infrastructure through market driven and from I mean reform that will unleash growth enabling entrepreneurship and markets creating innovations to ensure sustainability and resilience we will stop borrowing from for consumption all loans must be invested in regenerative projects you see that he did not say that we are not going to borrow but then you can't be boring to eat. You must make sure you are boring to invest. He said we shall pursue a drastic reduction in cost of governance and corruption. That's what people don't want to hear. That's especially those in government. And improve ease of doing business to attract foreign direct investment to jumpstart industrialization. And when borrowing is unavoidable, it will be strictly for production. It is also imperative that henceforth we should strive to operate within available resources and strive for a balanced national budget as cost-saving measures. Whatever oil we still have will be refined domestically. These measures, along with ending the leak, will along with ending the leakage, including the subsidy regime, and improving our tax regime should do the magic of moving Nigeria from consumption to production. That is the mantra broken down. And so in case you feel that he has always been saying from consumption to production, from consumption to production, what does he really mean? This is what he means. Please listen and watch this video again. Share this video with others. Let others know what the obedient are going to do, what Peter Obi has in stock. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is still more to come. So please do share this video with others. Like our videos, drop your comment, make them simple and simple. I believe strongly that we're gonna do much better in production than just consuming. We are driven towards penury when we consume all. 
then when we are produ when we are producing, we sure to have excess and so I mean and surplus. And then those are brothers and sisters who are you know migrating outside the country. We have no other uh, I mean no other uh, explanation but to just come back and you know see the way things are moving on this side. Thank you very much for watching once again. My name is Olupo Abraham. Please do share our videos with others, like our videos, subscribe to our channels, and make your comments simple and simple. We appreciate you. Bye bye.